Hey guys, it's Paul Wink here, and I just wanted to uh, show you guys a quick tutorial video on how to transfer your DSiWare games to your 3DS. And uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the DSi shop and download the Nintendo 3DS transfer tool. So basically, just go into the shop, go to the free section, it'll be right there. And uh, I've already transferred all the titles from the this DSi, so I'm going to close that. And uh, I've already have the program set up right here. Go to the transfer Nintendo 3DS. A uh, little disclaimer about a uh, little uh, extra data. Uh, yeah, basically a little disclaimer. Send from the system. Now on the target system, select Receive from Nintendo DSi. So you want to go back to your 3DS, go to System Settings, Other Settings, Third Tab, go to System Transfer. And uh, you're going to need to connect this to a router as well. Um, basically, it connects both of the consoles, or I guess handhelds, to the router so it can transfer over the license. Okay, so you want to transfer from Nintendo DSi. Next, see from Nintendo DSi. Go back to your uh, DSi. Select. Yes. Okay. Basically, you have the option between full transfer and custom transfer. Full transfer transfers your wireless data, your photos, as well as your DSiWare. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a custom transfer. Uh, I've already... Apparently, you cannot transfer uh, the built-in DSi XL uh, games, like the Brain Age games or the Clock or... Uh, Pretty sure it's the, just the clock in the Brain Age games, but you have you have to had uh, bought it on the DSi shop in order to transfer it. So that's kind of a bummer, but not a big deal. Not not going to lose sleep over that. So I'm going to decide to transfer over photos and recordings just for this video. Um, I wonder if I have any songs on here. I'll check this. Okay, I haven't loaded any songs, so. How about some pictures? Okay, this will transfer photos. Continue. Okay, dokey. And you get to see a little Pikmin animation on your 3DS. So, a uh, little background. Uh, when you're transferring uh, DSiWare games, uh, save data does not transfer. Uh, what else is there? Um, uh, the license transfers over, like I said. So if you happen to delete it on your 3DS, you can re-download it from the eShop. But you cannot download it, re-download it from the DSi that you transferred it from. You're pretty much transferring the license, like I said. So, okay, data transfer complete. It's a lot faster than I thought. Usually DSi where games take anywhere from like two to four minutes depending on how big they are. Okay. 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 Would you like to transfer another item? No, I'm fine. And yeah, that's about it. The pretty kind kind of confusing at first, but after you get it down, I mean, you finish the process, I mean, that's it, you're not going to have to worry about it anymore. And, uh, <clears throat> like I said, it, if for some reason your internet or your DS shorts out, or not shorts out, but cuts out, like the internet, while you're transferring the game, pe people have freaked out over this, but uh, all you have to do is go back to the Nintendo 3DS eShop, and it'll be in your uh, download history. Or, yeah, so you could just re-download it from there. So don't worry about if 
your internet goes out, you're not going to lose the game forever, you can just re-download it. So, yeah, that's a little tutorial about how to transfer your DSiWare games or photos or wireless settings from your DSi to your 3DS.